So this is the gully that washed out from our driveway. That's a good eight inch hole all the way down. What happens is that water runs down through here, goes right to the house. So I'm gonna have to put up some kind of frame right here to stop that from happening and make it go around somehow. And then over here, tells you how much water we got in a short period of time. I had more mud on the porch. I've got it all, most of it all cleaned off. But over here, you can see how much water we got. I got to go up and let the dogs, the ducks out too. I'm gonna let them out. So you can see how much water is in there. It's pretty full. Hey, Clark and John, I want to show you a picture. Of course, that's the, that's the hill, coming down the hill. And there's the boat. And then you can see the pond. And it's full. So, get in here so he don't try to hit you. So, that's the pond, guys. Well, guys, this is what we got going on here. Um, as you can see, this is what we call a little creek. It comes down from our pond. And our pond is definitely full. Because all that water is coming into the pond and coming down through here. I wish, kind of in a way, it was like that all the time. In other words, I wished I had a creek down through there, but we don't, so. Hey, good morning, guys. This is Tom from Nicholson Family Acres. Got my hat on because it's raining today. Um, I'm gonna turn this little bad boy around and let you see some uh, water coming out of my pond that's coming up from uh, uphill where we live at. And uh, guy says we got about 120 acres above the pond that's draining down into our pond. So with that in mind, uh, all of our rain that we've had the last couple of days and normal stuff, this is what we got to, uh, this is what we got to deal with. So um, we'll turn this around and kind of let you look at it. And uh, this is what we always call a little wooded area creek or whatever. Uh, which normally does not have water in it this much. I'm gonna turn it around here and let y'all see. Well, that's, that is what we call our creek. And uh, I guess we got power outages down too. So as you can see, they're going up the county road over there. Um, but this is running out. Of course it runs underneath a There's a, there's a road, it used to be, this road right here used to be a county road at one time. And then they done away with it and they made a county road down there where you saw those trucks at, so. But now, uh, what we got, get up here, Marley. Get in the house. Can't believe you came out the back door. Go, go, come here. Get up here on the porch, up here, go, go. So this is what's coming out of our pond. Uh, so I'm trying to make my dogs mine and they're not doing a very well job at it. That's Marley, of course he's sitting in the rain. He's a great Pyrenees red healer. So you can see what he's doing. So uh, if he had his opportunity, he'd go get in that water. I'm not gonna let him do that. Cause then I have to clean him up afterwards. So, so we've had some pretty good uh, rain here in southwest Oklahoma, which we don't normally get a lot of. And uh, this is what we got, man. So, but um, I don't know. We'll see where it goes to. We're supposed to get some more Thursday. A uh, young lady that lives across the road over there said, I got three and a half inches the other day with that rain. So I imagine we're gonna get some more.
probably just as much this time. So, um, but we'll see what happens on that too, you know. Hey guys, it's Tom with Nicholson Family Acres again. Just came up here to this side of the uh, area, looking and seeing what kind of is going on up here. We got uh, a lot of water coming through there right now. And uh, of course it's coming down to our creek line right here. It, uh, I haven't been up to the bond, uh, bond the pond. The pond will be the next little venture that I go to as soon as it kind of quits raining here. So it's going up in there pretty good still. Uh, like I said, I'd love to have this flow 24 seven all the time, a little river running down through there, but don't, so that's okay. That's probably maybe a little too fast, but uh, that'd be great for animals to have to drink and everything like that, you know? Uh, but it's coming down through there pretty good. I'm gonna go up to the barn next little segment and uh, do a little video and up there and see what I can come up with there. It's uh, definitely coming down through here at a pretty good pace. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, finally kind of cleared up a little bit. You can almost see a little blue and a little sunshine that direction further out west. But we're still got rain here in uh, southwest Oklahoma. And uh, I'm not sure how much longer. I think it's supposed to end by 1 o'clock, and it's getting pretty close to that right now. And then it's supposed to start up again tomorrow. So I haven't been over to the neighbor's house, see how many inches we got today. But I'm going to guess by the feeding buckets. Our buckets were about two and a half inches deep. That's a little feeding bucket right there where dealers at. Um, that was about that bucket was about two and a half inches deep. So, uh, and I had emptied that earlier. So, it a uh, little fun thing going on here, you know. So, and it's probably even gotten worse going east than it has. Uh, out west, because we, we don't get as much out west as uh, as they do out east in prior area and all that area up in there. So um, we'll give this give it up for right now, this little segment, and we're gonna go up here to the pond here in a little bit and uh, see what we can come up with up there. Hey guys, this is Tom with Nicholson. Uh, Nicholson Family Acres. Um, up here at the top of my dam, looking at my uh, pond. It's generally dry. We've had so much rain, it has actually got water in it. Um, kind of got even an overflow over there. I'm gonna turn this around so you can look at it. And uh, kind of even a little low overflow there as well as, I wish my overflow, sit down, please. I wish my overflow for the pond was a little higher, but I don't know if that's right or not i have no clue on how you build ponds or anything but i know there's a lot of debris in it that tree limb was not there that stuff there was not there that big log was not there so all this comes from way up way up north of us uh we're supposedly supposed to have about 100 about 120 acres that uh is runoff from there and uh, I believe, yeah, right here. It gets as high as that. That's where the that's where the drains at. You can see it right there. Um, had a guy come out from a town not far from us, and he said they they've done it right. That's the way they built it. They built it okay. Uh, and I was looking at it, trying to figure out what, what's all in it. There's Bam Bam. Say hi, Bam Bam. So, what it does is it runs out over on this side. Comes out through that little river over there. And, uh, it's pretty good. So, it's up. It's up pretty good. I wished it would stay there, but I'd, I'd love for it to stay there. But, 
I don't believe it's going to. Uh, our sand here is just, just, I mean, our soil here is just so sandy and everything. I don't believe it's gonna make it. There's Lucy. She's right behind us too. She thinks she got to follow the golf cart wherever it goes, so. Uh, Dilly-dallying around with us, you know. But I'm fixing to the turn there, Miss Girl. So, you want to move out of my way so I can turn? Thank you. I appreciate that. And there's all the kids. They think they got to... I can't get nothing done if they're around. They just want to be right in my business. And, uh... I can't get, like I said, I can't get nothing done at all. So, I was thinking there was some ducks out there, but it's not. It's just debris. And I was like, oh boy, we got some new ducks there. But maybe some blew in from the from the storm or something. We're gonna take a little ride up here to the north end of our wooded area and uh, check it out. I can't believe how much debris is in there. Well, it's funny, uh, the pond's been dry until we've had all this rain. And uh, like I said, I haven't, I don't even know if it'll work or not. Talked to a neighbor of mine, he said he's got a cousin that has dumped thousands and thousands of dollars in his and he still can't get it to, uh, to seal up, you know, because it's just so sandy. And the only way to do that is if you put in loads and loads and loads of clay, and pack it down, or if you get you some bentonite. And honestly, I'm not sure bentonite would work, but uh, I don't know. I was supposed to try to get my truck running. I was gonna go get it, get over here. I was gonna go get a, uh, a ton of it. We're gonna go over here to this north side and see if I can see anything through all the all the brush and everything. And oh man, that is still full. Wow. Uh, that's still got a lot of water in it. And of course, all this stuff right here. This is the north side of my pond, and it is full, full. I got trees down up here too. I mean, I try to get them, but man, there's just so many of them, it's, it's hard to get them all. But you can see all the water that's in there, and that go that's that's from the pond. So, uh, we definitely got water in the pond now. How long it's gonna stay like that, don't know. But uh, keep your fingers crossed and hope that it stays like that for a while. So, we got another area up here that uh, the uh, water comes down through too. It's a little drain off from the gas well. They built a, a uh, oh heck, a cattle garden. There she is, she thinks she's got to be with us. Come on, you stop, you stop. So here's another little area that is a runoff from the main highway that comes in there, but there's no water or nothing in there. Just broken limbs that I haven't got all up yet. Uh, I'll get to them. I've got uh, my can filled up. Get up here, up here, now. Get up here, let's go, let's go. Uh, my can's full right now, but I'll get up here and by next Monday, I'll, I've got to put these in there and I got some other ones over on the other side that I cut down the other day and uh, just general work like that to get done. And uh, we pulled a lot out uh, when we was trying to clear the area for the uh, hot wire to go on. So uh, I don't know if there's a whole bunch more. Move out of my way, little girl. There's a whole bunch more right there I need to get cut up the size of the dumpster and get it put in too. So. Um, and then we not got to get the hot wire put in here. And then I need to get me some uh, spray and spray it all. So um, we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna try to go down through here without getting stuck, I hope. 
There she goes. She's leading the pack. Go, go, mama. Get over here. I'm not going to put up with that. Go, go. Told you not to stop in front of me. Stop. Kelly, get up here. I'll leave your butt. Telly thinks he's the boss. Telly, come here. Come here. Come on. Let's go. Telly. 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 They're going to get you. Come on, Telly. Come on. Telly, let's go. Okay. You, you're on your own, dude. I tried. You don't want to pay attention. You're, you're at the mercy of the goats. There's Bam Bam. They're going to get you. Watch out, Bammer. Move. Hey, no. Get up here. Get up here. Let's go. Come on. Kelly, let's go. Kelly, come on. Let's go. Get up here. Get up here. Kelly, up here. Kelly, you're not paying attention, dude. Come here. Get up here. Okay, I'm done with this session right here, guys. Um, it was a nice little pond view and everything. So I will uh, end this segment and this video by saying thank you guys for watching. Let me turn it around here so you can see my pretty face. Oh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching the Nicholson Family Acres. And uh, I want to thank everybody that subscribed. Uh, we've got 150 subscribers now, which is amazing. I'm excited about that. We just continue to grow and grow. And I thank everybody that uh, has uh, subscribed. And please tell all your, your significant others or friends or cousins or nephews or nieces, or whatever, uh, subscribe. Um, we'd love to reach 1,000 one day. And uh, if you do, that's great. If we do, that's great. And uh, if we don't, we're still going to have fun taking videos and enjoying all of our animals here at Nicholson Family Acres. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, appreciate it a whole bunch. Y'all have a great day. And here's Dee Lee. There's Dee Lee. She's a good donkey. Of course, that's if uh, little man there don't get beat up by a goat very well could happen thank you guys for watching all right guys this is for my family come down and go swimming in our pond guys look there's the boats floating and then uh we got water in here hey hey just so you know we got fish in here too because our neighbor put one in there so uh you guys come on down and uh do some fishing buddy and back here in the back, guys, back here with that little area there, that goes all the way back. It's filled up with water. So, uh, we got water in the pond, water in the pond. All right, I'm done. Oh, gosh, yeah. This is a uh, Nicholson family acre. Just want to throw in a little cute video here, guys. This is Tom. Uh, neighbors brought some fish over uh, We'd had a big flood and uh, they was down in their property. So they brought about 30 little perch over and uh, Which was really sweet of them. Yeah. Now they got up here petting Lucky Lucy and uh, having a ball with it. Yeah. So uh, Pretty cool oh, yeah. She gets a little excited sometimes <laughs> But uh, pretty good yeah. So I'll continue. Thanks guys